so excited to make some pinatas for the fundraiser. Oh, me too. So how do you think we should split up all of the fillings? Well, I think we should make them all exactly the same so that nobody feels bad if theirs is different. Well, that makes sense, but all the fillings are different amounts, so how do we divide them up equally? Hmm. Well, we can use the common factors of the different quantities, and that will ensure that each piñata has the same amount of filling. I see. So then the greatest common factor will tell us how many piñatas we can make. Right. All right. So I think we can split these up into equal piles. Okay. Let's give it a try. All right. Start with the taffies. Now we have two piles of 25 taffies each. Mm -hmm. So two is a factor of 50. But we can also make these into 25 piles of two each. Which means that 25 is also a factor of 50. Mm -hmm. But we're missing the easiest one. We are missing the easiest one. Because we can count to 50 by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Yeah, so we can make five piles. So five is a factor of 50. But we can also divide each of these in half. 10 is a factor of 50, with five taffies in each pile. One and 50 are also factors, because one is a factor of any number, and so is the number itself. This is a lot of information. I think we should make a chart to keep track of the factors as we go on. Oh, thank you so much. OK. <laughs> Total is 50. And we have one. Uh, we did two, five. 10, 25, and 50. Great. Ta-da. All right, so that's the first one. Do you want to move on to the keychains now? Yeah, let's do the keychains. All right. Keychains. I love these guys. Excellent. So we have 12 keychains here, and we can split them off into two piles of six. And six is a factor of 12, so I can make six piles of two each. But we can also split this up into four piles of three each. Oh. This will also mean that we can break this down into three piles with four keychains each. Mm -hmm. The factors of 12 for these keychains. And I'll put 12 here. Thank you. Are one, two, three, four, six, and 12. Awesome. Let's keep going. All right. All right, so we finished the mints. All right, so let's see what the common factors are. So one is always a common factor. And It seems like two is another common factor. And actually, two is the greatest common factor. So that means that we can make two pinatas with equal filling. Hmm, bummer. I wanted to make more than two. Oh. Wait, hang on. I have an idea. OK. Take two of the taffies away. That would leave 48. Mm -hmm. And that'll change our first row of factors. Oh, OK. So. If we switch that down to 48. All right, so then let's see. Now, instead, we are using 48 taffies. Right. So one. And the new factors would be one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, 16, 24, and 48. Wow, that really did make a difference. 48 has a lot of factors. Mm -hmm. So let's see. It looks like we have a four, 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 a four, and a four. <laughs> four is a common factor and also the greatest common factor. Mm -hmm. So that means we can make four pinatas with equal amounts of filling. And you know, it's kind of cheating, but we can reward ourselves for all of our hard work. How? We each get to have a taffy. Oh, yeah. <laughs>